So we're back out of the pond tonight and I need to give you an update. So hopefully you can hear me all right again. It's just easier to grab my cell phone to come out here and film. And I know I got the waterfall going, all that going on. So the last kind of official video I did of the pond, we stocked it, right? We put the, the uh, daisy blue rice fish in there. We talked about we have some goldfish in there. And everybody's concern was that the goldfish were gonna kill the rice fish or eat the fry. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they're never even gonna get a chance to, and I'm never gonna be able to really experiment with different breeding setups and options. All of the daisy blue rice fish are dead. So complete tragedy struck the pond. Um, I don't really know what happened because I actually, from what I release on social media and when I do, like I actually ran the pond for quite a while before I really showed off the filter and different things. and. <coughs> I made sure to, you know, try and seed it with good bacteria and get <clears throat> everything going. But even then, like it's 400 gallons of water, right? We had some really warm days in the summer here. The temperature was looking good, like outside temperature looking good. The low temps were looking good. Like everything was just looking good for these fish to do well. And then a cold front moved in. And the only thing I can think of is that's what killed the fish. Cause it's, I came out one day, I checked on them every day. Like every day I was checking on the fish in the morning, in the evening, making sure everything was looking good, making sure they were eating, and everything was everything was spot on. <clears throat> but I came out here the other day and I found that all the rice fish were dead and on the bottom of the pond. So there was no trauma. It just, I really think it got too cold for them and it drives me nuts. Like it sucks that that happened because one, that was actually my entire stock of daisy blue rice fish, all of them, <clears throat> right? I didn't think anything of it. Like I think I even had a subscriber here local to me asked me about the cold front if I was going to do anything specific and if I needed to take precautions and all as I knew in my mind like they should have been fine right like it shouldn't have caused that to go wrong but <clears throat> complete tragedy struck the pond so the goldfish are left they're still here so they made it through <clears throat> and <clears throat> I know I'm going to get a lot of I should have done this you should have done this I told you so and <clears throat> but like I acclimated the fish. I know I'd showed it in the video just dumping them in, but like I actually spent some time acclimating them. I actually spent some time working with them, making sure they were good. It just, ah, oh, it sucks. It really sucks that I just lost all of my daisy blue rice fish. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what's next. I may just turn this into a goldfish pond for now as I'm really nervous to move out more rice fish out here because I don't want to lose all my stock again. You know, they were just beautiful, beautiful fish. So really unfortunate that happened, but we're going to keep moving forward. We're going to try some new things. So I don't know, not my favorite update because tragedy absolutely struck my pond and I'm not happy about it, but it's part of the hobby, I guess. I and mean, this is my first year ever with the pond. So I got a lot of learning curves and I guess this is one of them. So we're going to keep moving forward and hopefully the next update about the pond is a good one. <clears throat>